now to catch up on the goss. And Mike, you caught up with Cedo at her offices this week for the goss. Yeah, it was so fascinating because when you go to Cedo's offices, you, there's this vault, and inside the vault is all the secrets that she's been never allowed to print, like photos that I really wanted to see, but <laughs> couldn't find the key. <laughs> couldn't find the key, Mel, so don't worry, you're safe. Okay, <laughs> but we did manage to find out what is coming up in this week's edition of the Women's Day. I go with Cedo. What is going on this week, Cedo? Because last week was just a nightmare. Ah, oh, it was epic. It was epic. Who was I should seen... be interviewing you, actually. Yes, you maybe you should. I should be, yes. <laughs> Why not give you a ring? Well, I didn't see oh. that coming with The Bachelor. I know. The last time I saw you, you were preparing for the... Um, the Women the, Tell the All. The Women Tell All. And uh, who knew? That eh? went crazy, didn't oh, it? I know. If only the cameras were still rolling. <laughs> because <laughs> yes. I have to say, it was a great series. We loved it at Women's Day. We followed it, um, you know, we followed every episode. And, and, and we got our fairy tale ending, and it was all rather lovely, but it was slightly ho hum, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. well. Yeah. And then. Boom. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what that, have you got? It's like buckling girls, it's only just starting. I know, and that's the thing, I mean, it's the show just keeps on giving, isn't it? So what have we got in this week's issue of the Women's Day? Well, we caught up with, funnily enough, we caught up with Jordan, we caught up with Naz, we caught up with Fleur, but gosh, the story just keeps on rolling, isn't it? They I weren't have all to together. say, our Women's Day website team have been day-to-day -day like this, you know, <laughs> the magazine we thought about much later, actually. It was very interesting. Um, so, yeah, no, we just had to keep updating that story, but, you know, fantastic photo shoots. It was really interesting. I think the public opinion about what's going on is fascinating actually. I'm really interested to see what the readers think about our coverage this week. But I don't know, who's the winner out of all of this? I think I was, uh -huh. um, ultimately, at the end of the day. Um, no, it's interesting, isn't it? Because a lot of people say with The Bachelor that it's all a uh, script, that it's all You couldn't planned. have scripted this one. That's right. <laughs> and that's why you can read more about it in Women's Day. Yeah, what do you feel about, how do you feel about J Jordan? Some people are painting him as the villain. I feel sorry for the guy. Well, actually, I really like the guy, you know. I mean, I give him respect for actually breaking up when he did. I think it would have been far worse if they'd just carried on. But She's glad that he, you know, pulled out sooner than rather than later, to be honest. You know, the longer it went on, it was probably going to be well, harder I, for her. I totally agree. I think if they had carried on longer and it's, you know, it was going to get further down the track, it would have been even more awkward for everybody. But you're right when you say very gracious. I think Fleur has handled it very graciously. Yeah. And um, Jordan, much respect for him for yeah. calling the shots when he had to. Absolutely. I and I think we've found a, found a star in Naz. <laughs> we certainly After have. After Dancing with the Stars this year, you guys of Media Works have to get her on. We will we'll get Naz in. <laughs> So The Bachelor is finished, or is it? <laughs> but TV3 start a, another reality show very soon, The Block. The Block kicks off May 29. Looking forward to this one. Bit of a twist this time. Okay. Instead of couples, yes. it's mates. So four guys, four girls, uh, and, and a nice geographic spread. Uh, my favourites so far, from what I've heard, are Dills and Dills from Mount Maunganui. <laughs> dills and Dills from Mount Maunganui. Okay, now this is the fun part because I love finding out who's going to be on the show. So yeah, we've well, got photos? Yeah, we've got photos of all of them and yep. an interview with uh, each of them in the mag this week. And when you say geographical spread, oh, South Island, North Island? We've got Island, a couple North from Dunedin, Dunedin, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, two friends, one Wanaka born, the other from Christchurch. Two Willie boys, you know it's going to be good. And Jen and Ben, last year they separated. What is going on with them now? I know, divorce papers they were talking about 10 months ago. But you know, you should see um, photos in Women's Day this week. They're just looking so happy as a family unit in Paris and I think you know this it was only 10 months ago that, uh, that they were talking divorce but I think uh, Jen is an amazing woman right and uh, if you're a fan of the celebrity couple like I like, like I've always been I think perhaps you know the relationship counseling is working for these two apparently they've patched things up yeah I think. can't wait to read that and Cher I'm so pleased you're mentioning her because she's one of my favorite artists of all time Isn't I she think, amazing I think she was the first single I ever bought actually. no way yeah. oh well, do you know she turns 70 on Wednesday. No. 70. Same day as my little boy turns seven. Cher turns 70. I think that is absolutely wonderful. So we've got a bit of a photo tribute to the wonder that is Cher in the magazine this week. Uh, the latest issue of the Women's Day is out now. Cedo, thank you so much. And you have a wonderfully relaxed week this week, Mike. <laughs> <I'm looking forward laughs> it doesn't get much bigger than last week. <laughs>